Halini and fellow friends, welcome to our debate session today. As we all know, tax is a compulsory monetary contribution of the citizens to the state's revenue. It is imposed by the government on the expenditure, income, occupation, privilege and property of individuals and their organisations to accomplish a series of goals to help the nation grow. For example, to correct externality, to provide public services, and to redistribute the wealth among the society. So our debate title today would be Women Should Pay Less Tax. Now, uh, whether should women pay less tax or not, it will be debated by the both pros and cons, and I will now pass it to the instructor. <laughs> So, from pro side, um, they support women should pay less tax, and the for con side, they do not support women should pay less tax. So, as for the request representative for the pro side, we have Chao Xue En be the first speaker, <laughs> followed by Chan Jie Chan, the second speaker. And Isabel Kok Pei Hang as a third speaker. <laughs> Finally, Alex Tan Wei Hong as rebuttal. <laughs> so, for the representative for the Kong side, we have Fu Limin be the first speaker, followed by Yo Hui Li being the second speaker, and Chen Ki Fong as third speaker. And finally, call your name as rebuttal. <laughs> so each speaker and rebuttal have three minutes time to represent their side's opinion and argument. After two minutes, we will signal by ringing the bell once. And for the last 30 seconds, we will signal by ringing the bells twice. When time's up, we will ring the bell continuously. If the, <laughs> if the speaker doesn't stop once the final bell has rung, we will count it as a foul. So, we will have time out once both debaters have, have finished debating for that round. We hope the crowd can be respectful towards the, re the debaters during the debate. Now the debate begins. The first representative from Pro Side Chao Xue En, you may start your debate. Okay, good morning. Good afternoon, Miss Lani and my fellow classmate. Good afternoon. <laughs> my name is Chao Xue En and our team will be representing the Pro Side to talk about women should pay less tax. Okay, let's let's think. If you're gonna start a family with a guy and you and you have a newborn. Who's gonna do the breastfeeding? It's us. And do you think your husband will pay for the milk? I don't think so. So women should pay less tax than men. Don't you agree? First of all, the reason why I agree on women should pay less tax is women need to have, women need to dot up to make men happy. That's why they have higher expenses compared to men. For example, they have to buy cosmetic products and skincare products which are very costly. So this toner costs about 50 bucks and this concealer is about 100 bucks. So this lipstick is about 20 bucks. And, and also we can argue about the biological standpoint that women should pay less tax. Okay, women are more feminine and less aggressive compared to men. Men pose greater social and economic risk, so they should pay more taxes to short of compensate for the higher risk they impose on society. Women tend to be more composed and careful. Men tend to make lots of decisions recklessly. For example, for example, if men invest aggressively, and the decisions that make turn out to be wrong is gonna cause them losses. And the last one is women are restricted to household costs. That's why the capacity of earning money 
of women is lower than men. For example, like in Japan and Taiwan, men hold better positions, uh, executive positions, and have higher salary compared to women. And when a woman is pregnant, they need to take maternity leave and affect their prospect of getting job promote and hence ability of ability to earn more. So logically women should pay less tax. And actually the whole debate just actually the whole debate can come down to just one point. Men are jerks, therefore they deserve to pay more taxes. <laughs> uh, in other words, women should pay less tax, am I right? So that's all from me, thank you. Now is the first representative from Kong Sai Fu Fu Li Min. Good afternoon. I strongly disagree that women should pay less tax. Based on the first speaker debated just now, the expenses of women is higher compared to men. Hmm, we could barely accept this truth. But this could not be the strongest point to support what the women say. And we found that there is a contradiction occurs on women's view. As we know that in this era of globalization, Women are still continue to claim their rights to vote, to work, to be educated, to be health, to be free of violence, and even pay the tax that government provided, just like what men had. According to the feminists in 1990s, the Renee cried, Women rights are human rights. Due to these all actions and the propaganda women did, it really showed that women is always need a fair and equality treatment. Therefore, we must not reduce any tax on women as women are always spare their equality from me. Let's give an assumption. If women pay less tax is really assisted, men will start to abuse the special rights to plant women to shop for their goods and products. And if everything is really happened, the society will bring discrimination and also sexism. It will bring a lot of negative effects that will make the world uh, cause a lot of crisis and stereotype prejudice. And who going to bear this all crisis? And if, beside that, they say that the expenses of women is higher. Yes. We already found that that is very really true. The expenses of women is higher. But in the end, who is going to pay for the expenses? It's actually uh, husband and also boyfriend is going to pay for them. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Now we have one minute's time now. Now the debate continues. The second representative from pro side, Chan Jieshan, you may start the debate. Good afternoon to Ms. Nadini and fellow classmates. I am the second speaker of the pro side of women should pay less tax. In my opinion, I think women should pay less tax because if government imposes a less tax on women, it can encourage women to join the workforce. According to Gallup's employment population rate, men are employed 34% more than women in the workforce which means now men are dominating the society and also the workforce. So this is obviously unfair to the women in the workforce. And so in order to fill this gender gap and uh, achieve an equilibrium in the labor force, more women should go out and work instead of just staying at home being a housewife. 
this also can increase the entrepreneurship among women and society get to share more ideas uh, from women as wo more women can contribute their ideas to the society. And do you know that if more women choose to work, they are actually paying more income taxes as a group compared to if less women is in the working force and paying the same amount of tax as men. So this is definitely a uh, beneficial to our country's economic growth. And lastly, if more women is willing to join the workforce, which means that more locals are supporting their own country's occupation, then there is no need for our government to import so many foreign workers into the country, especially in our country, Malaysia. As we all can see that foreign workers in Malaysia is everywhere. We can see them like almost everywhere and anytime. So I believe that none of us want more foreign workers in Malaysia, right? So in conclusion, I think that government should impose less tax for women and encourage them to work and participate in the labor force. Thank you. representative from Kansai, your Kuiyi, you may start your debate. Good afternoon to Miss Nalini and my dear friends. I disagree that women should pay less tax. According to the pro-size speaker that say that uh, women can find a job but if they can find a job, why they can not play the test? In addition, uh, are women weak than a child? Nowadays, children also need to pay 6% 6 GST when they are purchasing in shopping center and wherever. GST with its government and service state is not only introduced in Malaysia and is only is also introduced at other countries such as Singapore and Australia. Therefore, if a child also need to pay the tax, and what other reasons should support that women need to pay the less tax? On the other hand, if women pay less tax, they should buy they should buy, they could buy more and more good in lower price and lesser tax. When woman purchasing power is higher but the price is lower, the sellers would be earn lesser profit. Therefore, they would be like to earn more profit, they would like they would raise the price. This situation is further more unfair for unfair for men. In fact, men in men is actually a real breed winner, which is a which is a financial provider in a family. So that on that after they share their salary to their wife, they only left spill money to buy their own favorite good. But if the but if the woman pay less than the price is higher, so men should pay their good in expensive price. It is burden for men. In conclusion, I did sorry disagree that humans should pay less than thing. Now we have one minute time out. The debate continues. Now is the third representative from Pro Side, Isabel Chok Pei Hang. You may start your debate. Good afternoon, Ms. Nandini and my fellow classmates. 
So, um, when women become mothers, they need to spend more money. Why? Because they need to spend more money on their children. They spend money on milk, diapers, milk bottle, baby food, and so on. And by the way, do you know that one kg of milk powder nowadays could cost you up to a hundred ringgit? And like a pack of diapers could cost you up to 70 ringgit. Women are already spending so much even before pregnancy that in average a woman could spend up to 1,000 ringgit monthly. As I refer to speaker one, she has mentioned that a woman tends to spend more than men because of the woman essentials we all need, such as sanitary pads every month for our periods, and facial products, makeup, undergarments, and so on. Adding, adding everything together, including daily meals, it's hard for them to cope up with life, when, especially when they have a baby. However, it can be said that men can help with paying the goods, right? But what if, what if their husbands are unemployed? Who will be the one paying all the taxes, the bills, living expenses? The woman has to pay for all of it. How is it possible when they have a baby and also having to support the whole household and their own needs all single-handedly? Moreover, what about the single mothers out there? Wouldn't it be harder for them to survive in society? In the working field, they do not have as much income as compared to men, even though being in the same position and will be hardly and they will even be hardly promoted into a better position. Let's say if a woman who only has an education level up to SPN, how likely are they to have how likely are they to get a job that has a high pay salary without long working hours? Women are already expensive enough, hence I believe that women should pay less tax to reduce the stress they already have, especially mothers and single mothers out there. Thank you. The third representative from Hong Sai, Chen Ki Fong, you may start your debate. Scholarship. 
by 20 to 60 percent. Hmm. Not only scholarship for overseas, local public priorities also face the budget cut of more than RM2 billion. Furthermore, Malaysians could not afford such a huge cut, <laughs> cut for educational opportunity when education, when corruption leakage and financial scandal are exist in large amount. Uh, uh, in Pakistan, there are uh, rules that they give a special treatment for women for reduce the tax, but it is in withdrawal after the amendment made by in 2010 in Income Tax Ordinance 2001. The debates continue. The rebuttal from pro sides, Alex Tang Wei Hong, you may start your debate. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, the rebuttal from Kong side, Ko Yong Ni, you may start your debate. Good afternoon to Ms. Nalini and all the students in the lecture hall. According to the cross-site speaker, one and the, the first one and the third one say, she said that women actually spend, spend more expenses. Why should they buy the cosmetic? Like seriously, the cosmetic is that necessary? For the children, they buy the Children, okay, you say it's expensive, you can actually buy the cheap one. <laughs> For the diaper, you know, when I was young, I don't even wear a diaper. My mother just give me the, how you say, the fabric, you know, just call up me and go down. We don't even need the diaper. And why do you give the handicap for women? For your information, most of the women nowadays around the world are fighting for the gender equality. There are a lot of women around the world are fight for their rights, their power, and their justice. And now you are talking about paying less tax. Why? You are paying, I mean, you are fighting for gender equality and now you are talking about paying less tax. Why is it? If you are fighting for it, then you should pay the same tax as the men do. Next, do you know, have any idea of the population of Malaysia in 2016? I checked it yesterday, the total population in Malaysia is 31 million. 50.7% are male and 49.3% are the female. This has shown that the women are reasonable for paying the tax. Why do I say so? This is because tax is one of the most important income for a country except for the rich countries such as Dubai and Brunei. Dubai and Brunei is known as a tax-free country because they are rich enough to survive without tax. However, Malaysia is a country that needs tax to survive. For example, if a country's in tax income are 10 billion a year, if Women pay less tax, 3% only, just 3%. How many million of losses they will get from the 3%? For female paying less tax, it will strongly affect the country's income. For the third speaker, she, he said that 
the income decrease, the economy will decrease. This has affect the financial status of Malaysia and uh, what I want to emphasize that is tax is responsibility for every people in the in order to achieve so
patient will compute cross-site speed. Hello. So the first divider, Chao Xuan, she divided for 2 minutes and 51 seconds. And the key point and key example that she stated is women expenses is higher than men because they spend a lot of their money to buy branded things, cosmetic, facial production, product, facial product, which are very expensive. And she and her voice tone is just nice, but she did say men deserve to pay high tax because they are jerks. <laughs> and this judging all men in the world as jerks is a little offensive. So, <laughs> and the second debater is Chan Jie Shang. She debated two minutes and twenty nine seconds. She looked nervous, but she had spoken a very important statement which is lowering women tests can encourage women to join the workforce and this will eventually lead to social equality and this will also help in achieving equilibrium in the workforce and filling the gender gap and when the entrepreneurship among women increases it will also reduce the importations of foreign workers to our country and the Third debater is Isabel Top Pei Hum. She debated two minutes and thirty-five seconds. Her voice tone is just loud and clear. She is very confident and she also has eye contact with the audience. And she stated that women already spend a lot of money to satisfy all their wants before their pregnancy. And when they become a mother, they will spend even more money. And if a husband will do not have work, the wife has an end up wife being the breadwinner and spend and have to pay for everything in a single handed. And this will also cause them to face more hardship. And lastly the rebuttal, Alex Tan Wei Hong. She's Oh, she, 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 he, he debated 3 minutes and 12 seconds. He had a very high confidence, but at the same time, he used a lot of broken English, like she, she, something like that. She ever, he, <laughs> he, he, he emphasized, excuse me, she, she is not English word. No, nah, she, he's not English word. Nah, it's not broken English at all. <laughs> the title very well, and he opposed the cons points well, but he did not follow the time given by instructions. Okay, so thanks. <laughs> Harry Kermanly will conclude the con site. Oh, good afternoon to Ms. Nani and my fellow friends. So, the first debater, for me, she confidently explained that the women are always stand for their rights, like the men had, and they, but the other hand, they realized that they want to pay the less tax. So, she concluded that the society will be, will be in equality and sexism. She gave a very clear and confident debate. The time taken by her, to debate is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So, continue to the next debater, the second debater. Your Kui Yi, uh, as she mentioned, all people have to pay tax even if disabled people or kids. So, women should not be accepted. She said that when a woman buy a thing with the less tax, their, purchase, their purchasing power will be increased in the price which is low and the seller will learn, will, earn, will earn the less profit. So when she debate, she's very nervous in, in proposing her debate, her own opinion, but her own opinion out because there are many thoughts in her debate. So the time taken by her is 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Then the third debater, Chi Ki Fong. 
Uh, he mentioned that the tax such as income tax for government is quite important and he said that when the, when the woman pay the less tax, it will indirectly uh, affect the government revenue. When the government revenue affect and decrease, so the debt will automatic, automatically will increase. So like the PTPDF, the scholarship, all that will also like be sacrificed sacrifice because there's no extra money for the PTPN. And but he, he gave a he gave a good example like the JPN had cut the scholarship had cut the scholarship for like the 16% and but he in debate he is not good in time management because he is over timing and there's too much talk in between the debate. And the last, which is the rebuttal. <laughs> Call Yong Lin. She rebut that the <laughs> sorry. He rebut that he almost that the woman spent too much and spent too much money on the cosmetic which are unnecessary, that which is true, which is until the pros debate and he did not follow the timing rule given by the instructor <laughs> and it's already over timing which is three sec three minutes thirty seconds. So I will pass to mm -hmm. Okay. So for the whole summary of this debate, we have come to a conclusion that the winning uh, that women should pay less tax, meaning that the win the winning side is the pro side. Okay. So, <laughs> the reason to why they have won is because despite both sides having strong points, they have won because they have more cooperation as a team, they have more confidence, and they are very firm with their points. And uh, for the price, uh, can we have the group leader to accept the price? Okay, and uh, for the best debater, we are delighted to announce that the best debater award goes to Fulinin. The reason why she has won the best debater is because she started off very well for her team and she is very strict and aggressive with her points. Okay, so that's all for our debate session. We hope you have, you have enjoyed this debate and we are very happy to thank you for the very intense debate by the debaters and all the respect given by the crowd. Thank you very much.
a small part of your course work. Okay, so yes. Next is, uh, yeah, since you are nervous, you should practice uh, more in order to, um, you know, uh, do not really feel tension. When you practice, when you're well prepared, right, uh, you won't have this kind of problems. Okay? <clears throat> um, actually, you don't need to really find a very, uh, what we call, bombastic words to argue, you know. You can just use uh, what we call a very simple words and simple sentences to argue with the points. Okay? Third speaker, um, you know, you have, your points are good, but sometimes your argument is not very promising. Um, as a debater, you fail to counter argue the points in a very efficient manner. Okay? And as for rebuttal, you are very, you have a very good argument with points, but you need to verify your points because there are certain points that you say about population. He was talking about population of Malaysia of 31 million. Yes, it's correct, but the population, not all the population is working. If this assumption is telling, even babies are working. <laughs> okay, no, huh? 31 million, you must find out the labor force. Okay? Labor force, that is the important thing. Okay? To identify the population, the adult population who are working and how many of them are women and how many of them uh, why they should actually pay less tax or not to pay less tax. Okay? So, talking about uh, even children, I need to talking about the children paying tax, it's not the children, it's actually the parents are paying tax for products used by children, okay? Yeah. Next, as for protein, um, yeah, you started well, but there was lack of argumentative uh, and uh, points and lack of body language of arguments. Um, you are very soft, you know, and uh, it's nice to see you talk but not argue, okay? Next, uh, the most outstanding point is given by the second speaker of Prodi. Give her a big hand. <laughs> the most outstanding point okay, of this debate is actually from the second, uh, second speaker where she has actually relayed the tax, women should pay less tax the economy. Okay? She said, you know, when uh, they pay less tax, it will encourage more and more women to actually work. They can find, it can really less the burden of the women, right? All the women in Malaysia. That's, that is very good. Okay? Third speaker, you actually repeated certain points of your first speaker. You are still talking about the product used. But just she was talking on cosmetic and you were talking on other type of products like baby products, okay? But otherwise, your points are uh, good. Next, um, rebuter, you are very rushing and completing your points, as usual when you talk. <laughs> you know, you know, see how you talk? How you talk? You're very rushing, right? Okay, the same thing they apply in this. Uh, it's not you should actually practice to talk calmly and think before you talk. Okay? So because when you're rushing, right, you tend to talk, you know, <laughs> so otherwise, a very enthusiastic presentation given by you. Okay. Next, as for uh, organizers, I could see that you actually put a lot, a lot of effort to bring this debate, uh, you know, well, uh, to conduct the debate well. So I really appreciate your hard work. I could see you have actually put the title, you know, in a big screen. To show everyone this is today's title and you know everyone aware of the title, okay? So that was very good and I could even see there is some coordination in your dress code of all of you wearing a black and one white, okay? Okay, so I could see that you have actually planned well, okay? Um, I find your introduction was good, rules and regulation was explained well, uh, introduction of group members was not there, okay? So it must be done. Huh? Next, next week, I want you to introduce your group members together with the uh, what what duties are they doing? Who are the time takers? Who are the what we call uh, some uh, summarizing the points? You know, you must tell me in order yeah, earlier so that I'm aware. Okay, of your duties. Okay. Um, next, uh, rules are carried out well, where all debaters are actually very obedient. 
okay? In uh, you know when you say stop, even though some of them are you know even draggy, is I I actually saw her reducing the volume of <laughs> the mic so that we can't hear whatever they talk, okay? <laughs> so and had some uh, confusion in delivering some points. It's okay. I believe uh, uh, those. Some of you jot down. You jot down the points, right? Is that jot down by you? This, who did somebody? Both of you, right? Did you jot down your points? All of you jot down the points or only you? Oh, three. Okay, so you had some difficulties reading your points, is it? Because she was trying to, you know. But it's okay, it happens. Okay, always remember, those who are doing summary, you jot down your points and you read your points better. Rather than someone else jot down the points and they give it to me. You know, others, they have difficulties in reading. Okay? So, these are the some uh, problem I find, but otherwise, it was a very effective and fun uh, debate. Okay? So, I will see you next week with my talk.